Welcome to another video from Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology. Tonight's video is going to be about adding storage to your Proxmox server using USB drives. The first thing you're going to need to do to begin adding or setting up a USB external drive to your Proxmox server is to select your server from your data center. Then we're going to click on the shell command in the upper right hand corner of our web interface. Now that we have entered our shell, we're going to use the command fdisk space dash L to display all the different drives in our server. Your USB drive should appear as your lowest most drive closest to where your command line resets itself. As you can see here, the drive that we are working with on this particular system is labeled SDC. And the partition that we choose to use is called SDC1. This is important and we want to remember it for later commands. Now that we know which drive we want to use, we need to make a point at which to mount this drive to. To do this, we're going to use the mkdir command and choose a folder or create a folder for us to mount to. In my case, I'm going to use the MNT directory and I'm going to call my folder USB underscore data for the rest of this tutorial. I've seen people use media as well and the folder you create is pretty much up to you from my understanding. Now that we have created the mount point, we're going to use the command mount dev slash drive name. In my case, it's SDC1, if you remember. Then we're going to place a space and the mount directory. MNT dash USB underscore data. Now that we have mounted our drive, we're going to go to data center back at our Proxmox web interface and we're going to select storage from the right hand element that takes up most of the screen and then select add and we're going to click on directory. Now that we've selected the directory, we need to give this drive a name. From my understanding from the Proxmox documentation, this can be any name. Today, I chose to use USB storage. Then under the next box, we're going to enter the directory at which we mounted the USB drive, USB underscore data. For contents, we can select one of many things. Disk image, which is for VMs. ISO images, which are our images that we use to install our operating systems from container templates, VZ dump backup files, which are our backups of containers or VMs, actual containers or snippets. I have selected all of these and successfully been able to use a USB drive to hold all of these items. So the last step that we're going to do is to go back to our left hand side of our screen and we will see that the new USB drive has appeared using the name that we named in the previous step. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. 
Every subscription helps Virtualize Everything get closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Meeting our goal of 1,000 subscribers means YouTube will begin monetizing our videos. The monetization means that Virtualize Everything will be able to afford more equipment to bring you better, informative projects and improve the quality of your videos. As always, have a good night.